Okay, check out this game called Swarm. Two over there versus one at the net. Ready? Go ahead and feed as nasty as you can, and you take off. Okay, he's got zero. Here comes the next side. So the doubles team on the far side cannot score. There's no scoring. They get singles. Oh, that's right, new ball. Uh, we get to hit to the doubles because we're playing a doubles team. Every time you score a point, you get a point. That's one for Danny. Play it out, play it out. So my side is just swarming in like one after another. Play it to the death, play it to the death. Remember the doubles team is not keeping score. They're just trying to stop us from scoring. Yeah, you got that, oh yeah, because you get doubles. Okay, no problem, go ahead, that was too nice. Be na nastier. That's good, because that's good. You guys are gonna have a tough time, two versus one, so go ahead and take advantage of the, the feed being nasty. Nice. Whoa, that was harsh. Good, notice these feeds. This is an important part of the game. That's the point. Oh, a little sl slow one. Yes! Nice, good hands. KN, go. Now, obviously, I could feed this if I want, but these guys are pretty decent players. Oh, close. Yeah, if you're too aggressive and you miss, it just, you don't get the point. So over here, we're gonna be keeping track of all the points we win. It's called swarm, because we're swarming in. And then the highest two players will rotate over to that side and we'll just rotate a whole bunch of times. Nice, close. Okay, a couple more. Nice. Okay, go ahead. Good. Let me show you an alternate feed. Nice. Just to be smart, you know, we're thinking hard. This, this could, maybe that's a nice feed. One, well that was out, but one that bounces up, pushes up into the high strike zone. Or maybe if you have this feed where you wail on it, and it has a whole bunch of topspin, whatever you want, so get creative. Let's go another minute. Nice. Now you're thinking. Okay, good. That was good play by Noah. That's too good. So on my side, when we have just one, we're playing against two, obviously we're at the disadvantage. We want to make sure we're cutting, we're guessing, we're not just going up there reacting, but you're going to have to anticipate. Do you be a little bit of a maniac? Once you get inside that, that net zone area, you gotta be guessing. Okay, good, and last ball here. Nice play, stop. Okay, this for fun, how many did you keep track? So on this side, we'll normally keep track. You got five, so I'm gonna send you over. Uh, do you all keep track? Okay, this will probably happen where they forget to keep track. You said you got 11, oh, perfect, you're over there. I just made that up. Okay, you guys come back. We go to zero now, and now we launch with new people. Here's a slight variation you might want to consider. Guys, so instead of scoring one point for a win, you can score it this way if you choose. You're going to come up. You still have to win the point to score. But now, in this variation, every shot the volleyer hits during the volley, one volley, two, three, four, you put away the overhead, that would be worth four. If you come up and feed and they miss, that's worth one because you only had one feed. So that's going to maybe make it more interesting in the scoring, and maybe you guys want to not go for it too early. All right, go ahead. Let's keep score this way. So Mike, one. Two shots for Mike. Was it in? I couldn't tell. If it was, he got two. Nasty low ball, Bryce. Good job. Good. Two. Three. No, just wide. Nice looper. Two shots in for Noah. Okay, Noah got two for that. Okay, no problem, he got zero for that. No problem, got zero for that. Nice feed. One, that's out, so you got uh, one for that. You only had to hit one. All right, so just another variation. So this is all we're doing, guys, is swarming in, having our guys really get up here, learn to cut and be very aggressive with their net movement. Nice. Okay, last ball. Eh, tough idea, but wide. All right, so there you have it.